With this summer already a scorcher, consumers are looking for anything to protect themselves from the sun. Now, one of the newest ways is by wearing sun protective clothing. But critics say some of these items are giving a false sense of security and may not offer the protection they claim. Sun protective shirts are all the rage for children these days. Here at Coney Island Sunlight Pool and anywhere else where there's water. I got uh, uh, over shirt so I don't get sunburned. It keeps you from getting a sun um, burn. But it's no longer just swim shirts. L.L. Bean, The Gap, and other clothing retailers sell full lines of sun blocking shirts and shorts. But two new reports in the New York Times and Wall Street Journal say not all sun blocking products are created equal. The New York Times says whatever clothing you buy, make sure it has a UPF rating of at least 30. UPF is like SPF, but for clothes. The New York Times article, meantime, says sleeveless sun protective shirts and short shorts give a false sense of security and lead people to leave their sunscreen at home. What about SunGuard, the laundry additive that washes UV protection into your clothes? The FDA and Skin Cancer Foundation have tested it and say it works. And the fabrics that are treated with the product have been tested to show that they do, in fact, provide sun protection. But you'll still burn your arms and legs if that's all you use. Finally, the journal report warns about UV blocking shampoo. It says that's great for keeping your hair color from fading, but does nothing to protect your scalp from burning. Bottom line, these clothes and detergents and shampoos can work, but you still need to lather up the face, arms, and legs.